What is up guys, Melek here, and today we are back in action playing some Feed the Beast Infinity. It's going to be freaking amazing. If you guys enjoy, make sure to go and click the like button. I'd really appreciate it. It helped me out tremendously. Uh, so, I've been searching around, just kind of like exploring a little bit, and I found a village. And I figured while we were here, we might as well snag a couple good villagers. Uh, we'll take these. Uh, and we might as well just grab, you know, kind of like start uh, filtering. Uh, and by filtering, I mean looting. Uh, I don't know why I said filtering. But we should start looting uh, some of the stuff in the village here and just maybe grabbing some good stuff. So I need, I, I don't really need emeralds. But I thought it'd be good. I, I've already got some stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's grab this guy because he might be good for missed pages in the future. Uh, let's see. Eh, let's get, are, are you going to, are you going to let me like. No, okay, so it looks like I can't actually snag this guy, uh, which is very unfortunate, but I do have a couple villagers, mostly like uh, coal for emeralds, those sorts of trades, and um, things like that, and I'm just looking for general stuff like that. I've also got a little bit of bookshelves. Uh, I, got, I found a miscraft uh, place, which uh, was empty, but I got a writing desk, and I got some bookshelves in it, and uh, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so yeah, I just kind of want to start the video here, tell you guys what I'm doing. Uh, we're going to continue searching, and if we find anything super interesting, like this guy. What is this guy right here? Uh, oh, he trades uh, dimlets from RF Tools. Let's go ahead and grab that guy. Uh, that's pretty cool. I figured, you know, just having like a bunch of different villagers uh, might be like a cool idea to get early. Uh, considering we have some stuff like this guy right here, uh, he would probably be good for Emerald. So I'm going to snag him. They might not be the greatest trades. Also, if I can snag a villager that trades food... Uh, that would be great because then I would like never have to buy food again. I'd get like, I think they, cause normally villagers, the way they, um, harvest craft villagers usually trade one emerald for like a whole stack of like really good food. Oh, here's like a village, uh, village thing. So we have some common drones. We have a grafter, unlit candle and some other cool stuff. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, and I'm just going to search around. Hopefully, um, I really want to find a villager that does food though. I think that's the ultimate goal right here. Uh, this is kind of a weird thing right here. Uh, let's see. What does this guy trade? Okay, Flint, we don't really care about you. What is this little house? Right? What is this little place? Uh, oh, it's an Aura Cascade thing. Uh, we need to get an Aura Cascade. This guy actually looks really cool. Let me uh, let me grab the stuff right here. I don't know if we're going to need it. Uh, but, you know, we might as well grab it. It might save us from having to craft some stuff later, which uh, is really, really good. I'm going to go ahead and just stick some stuff in here. Boom. Uh, there we go. All this. And then I'm also look on the look for some spruce leaves because I need to make some pods old because uh, I, I think uh, one of the other guys gave me, I think it's Colindra. He gave me 10, 10, 10 seeds. And if it wasn't Colindra, I'm sorry. I think it was. I'll, I'll look. We'll go look at the name here uh, as we when we get back to base. Uh, but they gave me some Batania 10, 10, 10 seeds. So, yeah, that's that's really, really awesome. Let's grab this red heart because I have zero red hearts. Um and I don't need any of this stuff. Awesome. Uh, do I need any of this stuff? Nope. No, I do not. Uh, so, yeah, let me pause it. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, we're back. So, the reason I needed spruce is because we need to make podzol. I don't know if I explained that before. Uh, the reason we need podzol is because you can only plant the botania seeds, like, in podzol dirt. Uh, so, yeah, anyways, I end up finding some... Why did I just now get an achievement? I wonder what that achievement was. Uh, but I ended up finding some spruce trees, so I got some saplings, I brought them back, and then uh, now we're just going to be farming up some spruce leaves. Also, I found some vines too, which we, you guys know we needed for the wall, so we're going to try that out here in a second as well. Uh, as, soon as, I, as soon as I kill some of these guys right here, let's go ahead and get these guys like so, boom! There we go. Um, let's go and grab everything. Hey, get out of here, zombie, you stupid zombie thing. Uh, let's come over here, let's grab this. Uh, okay, and I'm glitching out, which is good. This is perfectly fine. Let's go ahead. I'm going to take this dirt. We're going to surround this with stuff. Uh, make some pods oil, and it actually specifically requires um, spruce leaves, which I thought was kind of weird. Well, I'm going to go ahead and stick this guy like right there. Boom. Uh, we might as well over here. Let's go ahead and try out the vines as well. Let's see. What does this look like? Oh, okay. So it just kind of like goes on the side of it. I thought maybe it like went in between it or something. Huh, that is really strange. Hmm. Yeah, that's not exactly what I thought it would do. But anyways, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, so let's come over here. I actually, I have some uh, stuff. Also, I found like an RF tools thing. So I got a couple sequencers, a dimensional cross block, uh, this stuff. Which I don't I don't know exactly what all that stuff does. Also, I got some witchery books. So yeah, we, we got a lot of good stuff in our uh, hall or whatever. 
Um, so we're going to go ahead and plant these guys. And as you can see, they're 10, 10, 10. Uh, and I want to make three of them. So there's 16 bota different Batania seeds. Uh, and if we do a three, 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 uh, we can make a total of 16 plots. So uh, one seven by seven is actually perfect to do uh, one by three of every seed. And then once this is automated, this is going to be way more uh, like like flowers than we actually need. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we will, we will not be using the amount of flowers that this will produce, even with such a small farm. Uh, so yeah, like one flower goes right there. Uh, then we'll, you know, we'll put another flower right here and then, uh, we will plant that guy like so boom. And then we're just trying to, uh, spread them out and make it do that kind of thing. So yeah, I think you guys get exactly, uh, what I'm trying to do here. Let's see. Oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Okay, there we go. So uh, this is this is perfect. Uh, so we'll have three. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, then we have seven over here, and then so that's fourteen. And then we have one line right here in the center. So that's fifteen. And then one line right here in the center, and that's sixteen. So that should be more than plenty for everything that we need. Now I I probably will actually bring these guys over here and make their own separate thing. Uh, so we'll have the sprinklers doing their action over here, but we'll worry about that later. Um, so right here, I've installed some of these guys, the draw bridges, and these guys, I put some here so we can actually get in and out really quick, uh, which is cool. Uh, so these are all right there. And then down here, we have a couple mechanisms, also a secret room I want to show you guys. Uh, we have this right here, which pulls this up. Also, I have clouds right here, so we can actually... Oh, no, that's not why I want to... We can actually turn this off. Uh, so the clouds actually prevent fall damage. So as you can see, if we want them to fall down, we'll just do this. If we want to sit here and kill them and then maybe like train on them with like a fireball or level a tool or something, uh, we can do that right here too, which is really, really cool. Uh, now, if we, let's say, let's uh, go ahead and turn that off. Uh, so they would fall all the way down and then let's open this. Uh, we're having some TPS issues because of Lycanites right now. So that's why the server is being a little weird. Uh, but yeah, we have a little hidden staircase, which I think is cool. We have some draw bridges on the side. Now, my only problem with this is the red alloy. You can see it. I mean, but I mean, it's like a maintenance shaft. But I, I, I think it's kind of cool with the hidden stairwell right there. Uh, we'll, we'll eventually like hide this lever and maybe like make all the levers in one consolidated place and make it look all nice and fancy. But down here, uh, what I want to do is we pretty much... Uh, we're going to put a drawbridge right here and we'll wire all these guys up, but, um, and then we're going to stick diamond spikes in them. So i will like, I'll stick a diamond spike in there, uh, diamond spike in here. And these guys are a giant pain in the balls to make too. You need golden spikes and then you need magical wood. So I had to just spend like <laughs> 30 minutes, like getting all that. Uh, but they're worth it because these actually, uh, count as if a player is killing them so you can get like the extra you know like extra rare player drops that you'd only get if you like killed something with a sword or whatever which is really cool and uh, they do a lot of damage they, they'll kill stuff fast now a lot of these creatures are actually going to die from fall damage what I might end up doing is since I don't want them to die from fall damage because we'll want the loot I uh, will either want to kill them right here so we don't want them to die or we'll want the loot directly from the spikes because we'll get more also I can you enchant the spikes I'm not 100% sure you might be able to put like looting on them or something that'd be cool um, but anyways, I, we might do some like a water thing, but I don't know of any liquid that Endermen, I, I've used some in the past, but I can't remember what it is, but that Endermen don't care about, like maybe like they don't care about Cryrothium or something. I'm not sure if you guys know of any liquid that Endermen don't care about that, uh, will like reset the fall damage of mobs, then that would be absolutely freaking amazing. Uh, now down here, we're going to have to like dig underneath this and wire it up, but I think you guys get the basic idea. Uh, we'll flip a lever, spikes will pop up and it'll be all good. Oh yeah, one thing I want to show you guys is something that the other guys have been working on. Uh, so let's go, there's a Twilight Forest hub which has a link to a lot of our bases. Uh, but I, I'm not sure who the Twilight Forest hub was. March oh. of the Gorgamites! Watch them crawl! Uh. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure who this was made by. It might have been made by Cole as well. By the way, Cole did give me the Batania seed, so thank you. Uh, but Cole has like a hub in the overworld or something that's made out of Inbrick. That's like a huge mob spawner that looks awesome. But yeah, this is the Twilight Forest hub. <laughs> that's awesome. There, there, we have portals making music. That's really, really cool. Please don't copyright my video because of that. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, the hub. I think this might be... No, this, this, I don't know what this circular room is for, but I know the book to my base is actually over here. Uh, I think it's like, yeah, right here. Uh, Meteolox base, and then we have Cole's mob spawner hub, and then we have overworld spawn. Uh, so let's go to Cole's uh, mob spawner hub. 
This guy, this thing is freaking crazy. Okay, uh, so let's, uh, let's reset this guy right here. Oh, also, I made a touch dig spell like a couple days ago. Uh, some of you guys commented that I should make this. And I actually made this based on advice from one of the guys. And I, I'm level 8 right now. So I've just been kind of like, it's actually really useful too. Because if you're flying and you want to kill something like on your base and like redo something, it instantly breaks blocks. And it costs very, very little mana, which is really good. So I've been using that to level up. And it's been, oh, I should probably fix this. I probably shouldn't be tearing up Cole's uh, landscaping here. Um, so yeah, this is Cole's, uh, I guess mob spawner slash hub and looks like this is going to be a giant message area right there, which is really cool. What is, where does this go right here? Uh, it says nether. So that probably goes to the nether area, but yeah, look at this guys. This thing looks epic and, uh, we have all kinds of like items that drop off of it. Uh, but I'm going to turn this on. We're probably going to lag like crazy. That's the twilight forest hub. But yeah, we're probably going to lag like crazy, uh, but it's going to be awesome. So this right here is a vacuum chest. Oh wow. It's filled with like witch hands. Uh, then what is this? Uh, trash can we have? Oh yeah, this is a draconic evolution mob grinder. So it like kills everything in a huge radius in one shot, including withers. If I spawned a wither in here, uh, this would automatically kill it in one shot, which is really, really cool. Um, up here. Oh, did he disable? Oh no, no. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So I never actually, I wasn't able to fly the last time I actually checked this out. Uh, but this is cool. It falls down and it looks like it goes into the, like these shoots and then it shoots uh, they shoot out into the center right here, which is really cool. I wonder what the point of this is right here. Um, I don't know. You know what he could do actually? He could light this all the way up, uh, with like glowstone or maybe carpenter's blocks and, um, they, it would be all light in here because you don't, I mean, it doesn't matter what it is down here. The darkness only is required right here. Uh, anyways, this is dark reinforced glass. Uh, these are all spawners. We have uh, a wither. We have uh, something that I from lichenites. We have something else from lichenites. We have a slime. Uh, we have lichenites, lichenites. Oh, these are witches right here. Okay. Um, so yeah, is this, is this a pig? Oh, no, that's a pig. That's a zombie pigment. Okay. Uh, so let's turn this guy on if I can figure out how to get out of here and we can do this. Let's see. Let's do this. Eh. And then I want to just, just, let's just watch. <laughs> Look at that. They just like it gets really nuts. Like it gets absolutely crazy. And look at that. And they're like all filtering perfectly at these little holes right here. This is a really cool design. I like it. Uh it's it's just it's it's fantastic. Now, I mean he could have like been lazy, copped out, and just had it had them fall straight out. And but this is really cool how they shoot out. Uh so we're going to turn this off. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna watch them die. Uh so this is this is really awesome. Cole did a great job, and I like the building too. The building's really cool. Um so let's watch this guy. Yeah, they just they just instantly die. They get sucked up by the vacuum hopper. Look at look at all that. And they they're just shooting off the sides, which is awesome. Yeah. He could light this up, like I said. That would that would be great. Um I don't know. I guess I guess I don't know what else he has planned for this, but I mean this oh, this spawner right here is just awesome by itself. It's really, really cool. It's a good really good way to get items too. Okay, we're back. So, uh, I have added fans uh, because these guys weren't working very well. We were having a lot of mobs that were just kind of sitting up here. Um, so, fans, I've added, uh, I guess, one, two, three, six, eight. We've added eight fans per level, and they seem to work really well. So, what I'm probably going to do is get rid of these guys right there. Um, and then you can actually turn them all on and off. So I have a switch over here in the back where you can turn them all on and off. And then if we ever need more fans, which I think this is plenty, I think this does almost full coverage. Um, then we could just add more along the right, a line right here. I actually made 64 fans because they're pretty easy to make. Um, so yeah, I have plenty of leftovers. So I'm probably going to kill all that and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, and besides that, we've added this to where the lever's now right here. And then I got, I think that's about it, actually. I'm not sure what else I've added. I think what I did is actually change this to a knot. So it does these two things simultaneously. It lifts this and puts this here. And uh, I changed this from clouds because we actually put liquid redstone up there. I'm not sure if that uh, affects Enderman or not. I think it does. I'm not 100% sure, though. Um, but yeah, this is the way this works. It's a not gay. So like whenever this is on, this is off. So yeah, it kind of like does that. It's all one switch. Uh, this is the same. We have a little secret stairwell. Uh, I, this is like the next day, by the way, I've just been kind of playing with this on and off. And then I went ahead and added, uh, this guy. So as you can see, if you guys remember, we added, uh, spikes. I just put redstone underneath, uh, so we can just turn it on and off. And then eventually what we're going to do is, uh, the redstone that turns this off is going to eventually, 
I uh, have a not gate for fans right here. So as soon as this turns off, fans will start blowing this way, and then this will all lower, and then like walls will come up right here, and then we'll have it blow into some other place. Um, so yeah, that's how it's gonna work. But right now it works. Uh, we need to also do a sorting system. Uh, but we will worry about the sorting system later. What I want to do, I feel like this has just been a bit like a big talky slash uh, showy episode. Uh, so I want to start in a buildcraft. We want to do buildcraft robots so we can automate our crops so we can start making power. That's like the immediate goal, what we've been working towards and what I want to do. Also, I, I, I'm level eight now, I think with this, uh, yeah, I'm level eight. Yeah. So I'm level eight. Uh, I'm, I'm leveling up very slowly. I'm just kind of like, you know, doing my thing. Um, so for BC, what we want is we want to make some lasers. We need an assembly table, and I think we also need a uh, something else. Uh, but yeah, the main thing we need is an assembly table and lasers, and then we can actually use that to make our very first robot. The robot uh, requires the assembly table, like parts from the assembly table, to be able to ma uh, be makeable or whatever. Anyways, we need obsidian, we need diamonds, we need redstone. Uh, then we need diamond gears for this right here. Uh, so, yeah, that's not that bad, actually. Uh, so, yeah, okay. So, we're just going to grab a bunch of diamonds. We're going to grab a bunch of obsidian. We're going to grab a bunch of redstone. So, we have obsidian. I think the lasers use a lot of power, and I think we're pretty tapped on power. Uh, so, I might need to end up making, like, a temporary power source just to power the lasers here. And also, we need to find a spot for the lasers as well. Um... Okay, so let's go ahead and make the lasers. So I think we're just going to go ahead and make all the lasers. I was thinking maybe starting out we can make two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I guess the next step would be a five by five, so that would be 15. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead. We'll make 15. We probably won't use all of them because they're probably going to use a lot of power. Uh, but it'd be cool to have like a giant laser array. Uh, then we need some gears. So we only need one of these assembly tables. And I'm actually kind of curious about what all this other stuff does, like the integration table, uh, charging table kind of makes sense. Programming table uh, kind of makes sense, but I'm not sure what it's for. Maybe it's program programming for the robots, or I'm not sure. Stamping table, I'm not sure what that does either. I, I'm, I, I'm really curious about this, but the first thing we need is a assembly table, so we need this. So that means we need gold, we need iron. We might as well just go ahead and make uh, as many as these as humanly possible. So let me go ahead and do this. Boom. We will make 16 golden gears. We might as well just go ahead and make diamond gears. We might might need them in the future. Um, and then there we go. Let's go ahead and make the assembly table. Boom. We just need one of these guys. Let me go ahead and throw the rest of this stuff right there. And then let us stick. Let's find a place for this. Now, probably, hmm, we could just temporarily stick it downstairs. But this is kind of like our work area. Oh, as you can see, I've also reset up all of our machines right here. So as our work area, we could stick it over here, maybe. That might be a good idea, actually. And let's go ahead and set down the lasers. Now, I haven't... Actually, this might be a bad idea. Well, you know what we can do? We can actually just disconnect the, the power cables. Um, we'll, just, we'll just use, like, five of them for right now because this, this much power is probably... Ten, actually, they might not use that much power. Oh, I totally underestimated the amount of... Wait, what is this? One, two, three, four, five. I, I underestimated the amount of crap that we need. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more lasers. Let's see. Boom. Uh, we need two, four, five. I'm not sure how many more we need. Let's go ahead and place these down. One, two, three, four, five. We need five more. Okay, so we need a ten more. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, well, I've, I've used all of our stuff. Uh, this might be way overkill for what we need, uh, but I've used all of our stuff. Let's go ahead and just set that down right there, and this doesn't need anything, right? Um, let's hook up the power, and then this should be good. This should be perfectly awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and come right here, and we can just bring this over all the way over here, and it'll be beautiful. Um, as you can see, I've also stuck these glowstone uh, things around throughout the base, uh, and they, you know, it's better than have torches ever. Also, uh, I, I finished the windows, right? And then I actually kind of connected the windows and we started bringing the ceiling up right here. Um, so this actually looks really, really good. I like it so far. Now, the, the plan is, is I'm going to add some color throughout the base and I think it's going to be red. So I'm going to eventually add some more red throughout everything that we've already built. Uh, but for now, this is going to be the first, uh, like... I guess thing that combines everything the base is going to go up higher this is not the roof we're just bringing it in slightly and i was thinking actually having one side be a tower and then the other side kind of um finishing off with some more windows like this and then having a tower kind of go up on one side i'm not i'm not exactly sure i'm still kind of playing with it and uh planning some stuff out but uh, yeah these guys should have power right did i not hook this up completely did i like stop like mid thing and then just not do anything yes i did wow 
wow, I'm so good at my job, which is nothing. <laughs> okay, so we have the laser. Um, now for the robot. Let's look up robot. Uh, we need this guy, I think, a zone planner. Uh, and then we also need the docking station. So we need docking stations per robot, and then we need to make a robot. And we also need to do a redstone board. Uh, so, and then robots require, they require a redstone crystal and then two diamond chip sets, which is just this. So I was thinking, let's make one, two, three, four, five. Let's make five robots. And then let's, so one, two, three, four, five, and then, uh, no, five. And then we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay, so this is slowly making this. Uh, this is going to take a while. Uh, but we need a bunch of different things. And it all requires this assembly table. So I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it. We're going to make some of these things and maybe play with it a little bit. Uh, but I I'm probably going to have to like try to figure everything out off camera because I've never used robots before. So I have no idea how to do this. And also, we need to make these redstone boards. I'm not 100% sure how to do that either. Okay, so uh, this is only a few minutes later. I haven't really done much. Uh, and I disconnected the power from the back, so we only have these bottom ones doing their thing. Uh, this is going to take a while. Plus, um, we, we're already running over a time for the video. So pretty much the things I'm going to make off camera is I'm going to try to make these robots... Uh, and then I have the redstone uh, pieces of paper here. We're going to try to also make the zone planner. Uh, and then I'm going to make something called an integration board. Because I just noticed this. To, to, um, to do the, the, the plans to make the robots specific types of robots, uh, we're going to have to use an integration thing. So we're going to need this guy right here. Yeah, this guy right here. So we need a redstone chipset and all that stuff. So we'll probably play with all that next time. I'm going to do a little bit of research and we'll try to figure it out. And I think the way it actually works is we use the zone planner, uh, wherever that is, and then we designate areas. So I was thinking maybe we could do like one robot for this big area, or maybe, I don't know if like the robot harvests them and then you have to do another robot to pick everything up or how that works. Uh, uh, the one that harvests might pick it up as well. I'm not 100% sure, uh, but we might want to do one for this big area right here, or we might want to do like one per individual crop. I'm not 100% sure. Um, give me your advice down below on that and I would greatly appreciate it. Anyways, if you guys enjoy, make sure to go and click the like button. I really appreciate it. It helped me out tremendously, and I'll see you guys in the next one.